hello. Uh, a very happy me is greeting you right now. Um, <laughs> today is Saturday, January 16th. Quite home. He might be home. I haven't checked my phone yet, but he's supposed to be here any minute, and I have to go pick him up at the uh, his parking space where he parks the bed. So I'm going to walk the dog and run to the store and then um, pick him up, and we'll look at our new home. We're going to... Living conditions are going to be like... Ready to see Jay? Did you miss him? Are you ready to see him? We're going to see him so soon. Oh, oh yeah, let's get your leash. Yeah, let's get your leash and go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was cute. She pointed to her leash with her nose and then pointed to her butt with her nose. I think I know what that means. <laughs> oh, she's tired. We were up till 5 in the morning moving stuff to the storage unit. We are up uh, so late and it's all, we woke up at 10 this morning. Oh. oh, Emmy. Life is so hard. Be out there. You, you and me are going to go through this together. Jay for the first time in a very long time. I can't do that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't reveal his identity or the company, so I can't do too much more. But um, I'll check in really soon after this, after I go see it. The ceiling and that is the <laughs> That's the Intella track. What I what I'm laying on. Like, let's go back and forth again. That's the ceiling and that's what I'm laying on, and that's the space I have to live in. And I can't sit up right now, so I'll be living horizontally <laughs> for the next couple of years. <laughs> And maybe I, every once in a while, will rise from my coffin to go to a convenience store. <laughs> this feels like a body bag. Oh, that's good. It's like death. In Just in case, you know. I, oh, there's seatbelts. I can oh. strap you in too. There's or there's bed. I gotta get the. If bed. I get staked through the heart, there's a body bag. You don't ruin anything, but. Everyone else does, <laughs> including the company you work for now. Oh my you. gosh, he tried so hard to get a bigger truck, and this is it. Didn't get one. <laughs> I love the noise. Oh. So when you're driving on the highway, they want you to lower this because it does this. You have big, go ahead, big bump. That's nice and noisy. Um, they want you to lower it when you're driving down the highway. So I'm not yeah, kidding when I, I say that that's the space I have to live in because when he's driving down the highway, I will be back here and that has to be lowered. Okay. So let's do the tour. That's a window. <laughs> at the foot of the bed, and that's our home time home, which is a gas station. And there here is some um, storage shelves, not big enough to have a toaster oven, and not big enough for all of my stuff that I thought I was gonna put there. I'm gonna have to rethink where I'm gonna put all my stuff. There's, under this bed here, I don't know how to lower that. Under this bed here is, is, a, is a storage area. Whenever I hit lines on the road, I, see, I get out of my lane, that thing buzzes like that. Yes. Okay. That's every time. So that's where I can put some stuff down under here. Um, oh, never mind my rings on the wrong hand, by the way. They, fl they flew off my finger yesterday when I was moving furniture. So my wedding rings are actually on, on the wrong fingers. I've never been in a big truck before, as I've told you a million times now. Um, and uh, so stuff like this, I'll just be like, <laughs> how? How? Push. 
push, push, oh, no, pull, like pu pull, pull, or push forward. Push, pull. I can't do it. So I'm gonna need the rubber mallet. Like when I want Jay to come to dinner, for instance, I'll get out the rubber mallet. <laughs> I'll be like, dinner time, <laughs> bang, boom. Um, so uh, we've been here now for about 20 minutes and he doesn't seem to want to leave. We have a whole apartment down the road that we oh, could go to. Uh, we already took a little nap and um, the dog, oh my God, look at her tongue. Oh, I love when her little tongue is sticking out. So she's sitting in the passenger seat right now. <laughs> Good. Yeah, it's made well. And uh, the bed is extremely well, like The bed is really comfortable. Everything's constructed good. It's not chintzy, you know? It's not chintzy. It's not. And um, this one works and that one doesn't. I would say it's the equivalent of the apartment complex we were just in. Where nothing worked quite right. Look at him struggle with it. See? Tell him. That's a, that's one of the first things I noticed because I'm like going around banging everything. We have and to do, we have when to do I it. bang things, things fall we apart. We have to just go up, down. down okay, I down. will get a hang of it as long as it does work, and I have to learn it. Be, you have to learn the special way to handle the equipment because the equipment could just work and. You know, it could be old. Is it old or no? It's a 2014, It could be. It, it was strained by somebody. Somebody strained it and pulled it and yanked it, and now it works weird. No, it works different than that one. It's supposed to be like that. That was just an example. I don't. Oh, even, it locks. I see what. You're I, I don't even. Yeah, yeah. That one locks in place, and that one flaps around. I'm telling you, they're definitely different. This is not the kind of thing that he. Uh, is going to care about. But since I'm going to have, I'm not going to be driving, so I'm going to be back here breaking stuff. <laughs> 20 years. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there probably are notches around here somewhere. I don't even want to know. No, this truck's in good shape. Okay. They cleaned it. There's like a thing. Can I? <sighs> Up here. Up here. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's controls and things. I like these buttons. Oh, this, this light pops out easy. Do you know if I'm stuck back here for all day, every day, for years? I'll be playing with these buttons. I'm going to figure out what they all mean. Well, here. Don't worry about cooking. There's no way to cook. Do you think we should... <laughs> I'm going to get so fat. I'm going to, like, take up this whole thing. I could be back here. <laughs> <laughs> you have to remove me with a crane. Get the jaws of life. All right, get his wife out of there. He's finally got the new truck. <laughs> Don't talk about that. I'm trying to turn this off. He's talking about his pee bottles. All right, goodbye. We're going to be back later.